523, Chironos is at 310. And players to look for in that game against J. Happ, Avisel Garcia. I told you we talk about him a little earlier. He's 12 for he's 4 for 12 in his career off of J. Happ with two home runs. I like Avisel Garcia today. The Yankees, not a lot of stats against Chironos. So in that game, fan it for daily. I like to add Avisel Garcia for Daily Fantasy. The Padres and the Dodgers, they play at 9-10 tonight at Dodgers Stadium. Danielson Lamette, he'll get his first start of the year. Fresh off of Tommy John injury, and he gets his first start against the Dodgers. I'm sure he's saying thank you for that, guys. And Ryu pitching for the L.A., 9-2 with a 1.83 ERA. Historically, not a lot to give you Dodger-wise. I will just say, I mean, don't give this much credence, but Justin Turner is 2-for-5 off of Lament. Off of Ryu, the Padres, Will Myers. Ha, 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 there's your name. 5-for-12 with a homer. That's a 417 average in his career. Hunter Renfro, 3-for-11 with a, a 273 average. Two guys to look for in that game. Marlins at the Nationals. Nationals Park, 11.05. That lineup probably is out. I haven't checked because I was getting ready for the 9 o'clock show. Hernandez against Sanchez. Anibal Sanchez pitching well lately. In that game, you've got not a lot of credible stats against Eliezer Hernandez, but I will say that Rendon, who I talked about his contact rate being down, he is 2-for-4 with a homer off of him, and Soto is 3-for-6 with two doubles. Marlon bats against Annabelle Sanchez. Starlin Castro, 6-for-18 in his career. That's 333, of course. And Curtis Granderson, 3-for-12 with a homer against Annabelle Sanchez. Indians are at the Royals at 115 at Kauffman Stadium. Please sack the rookie against Homer Bailey. Plesak is 3-3. Three and three. Homer Bailey is 7-6. and six. In that game, trying to look to see if I have some stats for you. I don't think I do, which means these batters haven't faced these hitters enough to talk about. But I tell you what, I will say Cleveland, uh, they seem to be catching on. And I like left-handed bats. I like Santana today in that game against Bailey. I think Carlos Santana is having a renaissance kind of year. And his numbers, well, they're not shabby. I mean, he is a all-star this year. I think against Homer Bailey, you've got to believe that Cleveland left-handers and Santana, Carlos Santana is just, I think, in a great spot today against Homer Bailey. And uh, I certainly would add him. Let's take a look at his numbers real quick. He's at 298 on the year, 19 homers, 52 RBIs. Uh, great numbers there. I also like Jake Bowers today. Jake Bowers went four for five on Tuesday against Kansas City. He went two for three yesterday, so he's five for his last eight. And going against Homer Bailey today, I love him in daily fantasy. The Brewers are at the Reds once again. In that game, Woodruff against Castillo. So you really got the best pitchers both teams have to offer. For uh, Cincinnati, I mean, a little small sample here, but Joey Votto is 5-for-6 in his career off Brandon Woodruff with two home runs. That's the 8.33 average and a 2.667 OPS. Ha, ha, ha. Now, I know it's small sample, very small sample, but Joey Votto apparently sees the ball really well off the hand of Brandon Woodruff. And Joey Votto, check out his price day in Daily Fantasy. For the Reds against Louis Castillo, Yasmani Grandal is 5-for-9 in his career with two home runs. Mike Moustaka is 3-for-7 in his career with a home run. Orlando Arcia, who could be a cheap buy in Daily Fantasy, 7-for-17 in his career off Louis Castillo. That's a 4 12 average with a 9-15 OPS. So some hitters there in that game to look at. Tigers-White Sox. Matt Boyd, who's on the trade market, and they want high val they want high value. I saw some of the players they're trying to talk about. They want Tucker from Houston. They want 
uh, Glaber Torres from the Yankees. These are just two of the teams that they have expressed interest in trading with and what they want. I don't see the Yankees trading Glaber Torres. I don't know about the Astros. That might be intriguing to them. But Matt Boyd's going today for the Tigers. Could be his last start at Guaranteed Field in Chicago against Lopez. Boyd is 5-6. and six. Lopez is 4-7. and seven. Against Matt Boyd, Jose Abreu is 12 for 24 in his career with two home runs. That's a 500 average, of course, with a 1.292 OPS. I've said it so many times. Abreu, a great pick today for Daily Fantasy. Yolmer Sanchez, 4 for 10 off of Matt Boyd. 400 average with a 955 OPS. And off of Ronaldo Lopez, Tiger batters have fared fairly well too. Nick Castellanos. Boy, did he hit yesterday. Five for eight in that doubleheader. He's 10 for 27 with six doubles in his career off of Ronaldo Lopez. That's a 370 average, and he has a 963 OPS. John Hicks is four for 12 with a home run in his career. Not so good of choices. They've not fared well. Now, make of that either they don't fare well off the pitcher or they're due. I think in these cases, maybe they don't. They don't just fare well because it's Nico Gudrum and Heimer Candelaria who are both hitting 150 each off of Ronaldo Lopez in their career. At the next game we're going to look at is the Cubs are at the Pirates. It's Quintana for Chicago, and he'll be at PNC Park taking on Jordan Lyles for the Pirates. In that game, uh, Corey Dickerson, he's 5 for 11 in his career off of Quintana. With a homer, that's a 455 average. Josh Bell homer has homered off of Quintana. Uh, and Starling Marte, career-wise, does not do well against Quintana. But now Marte's been hot lately. He's 2 for 15 in his career. That's a 133 average against Quintana. Just beware of that as you're setting your daily lineups. Against Jordan Lyles, uh, not a lot of numbers here. Rizzo, only 2 for 14. I will tell you that uh, Cubs hitters, the only hitter with a positive, real positive average, only four at bats. Guys, don't put much weight on that. Is Addison Russell? He's three for four with a homer off of Jordan Lyles. The next game I'm going to go to is the Twins. Uh, Berrios at Oakland Coliseum taking on the A's and Matt Anderson. Uh, not a lot to give you there. Uh, in fact, uh, I will tell you, Chapman's two for six off of Berrios. Chris Davis is two for six. We talked about him earlier in a dynasty trade possible situation. Um, I got some more trades. I'm going to take a pause here. Let's see. What is your decision? Trade review. Bauer, Bryant, and Listella for Torres, Clevenger, and Muncie. Uh, I like that Torres, Muncie, Clevenger side of things. I think there is more upside there if I were picking a trade. Uh, and, of course, Lestella's hurt. So, question by Jack Youngblood. What happens first? Kyle Tucker called up or traded for Mad Bum? Yeah, I'm going to say Mad Bum traded first. And I wouldn't be surprised if T- Tucker that isn't called up because I wouldn't be surprised if that isn't the trade. Houston getting Mad Bum. And Kyle Tucker going to San Francisco. There's just something about the way Houston has handled Kyle Tucker. It's like he came up last year and performed not very well at all, remember? And so I wonder if they're thinking, you know, his trade value is probably higher. He was the International League Player of the Month for May. Maybe his trade value is higher if we keep him at AAA. Now, he's been striking out right much lately over the last 10 games at AAA. But still... Trade value is high. I think Mad Bum gets traded first before Tucker gets called up. Uh, Don Kiyoki says in that trade just talked about, I don't like it if Patrick Muncie is a stud. Clevenger is close to Bauer when healthy. I like that Clevenger side of the trade. I said that as I was reading it. Patrick wants to know about Kron. Should I drop Kron Hosmer or Yandy Diaz? Who are you picking up is my question. Is it Would you drop Kron for Hosmer? Is that what I'm reading? Um, I, I'm not huge on Kron, but I'm not huge on Hosmer either. I think if I'm picking the two, I feel like Hosmer is going to get more playing time. If I had to pick between the two, I'm taking Hosmer. Okay. Um, Don Kiyoki agrees with me on Vogelbeck and Winker. 
and I'm going down. Quintana sucks. <laughs> okay, I agree. Uh, Casey Mize call up. I don't know about Mize so much as they have another young pitcher down on the farm who may get the call before Mize. Not sure um, if you are familiar with him or not, Jack, but I'll, I'll go through that with you just for a moment. We'll take a look. They have a young kid. Let's see. I'm trying to look here. Mize's numbers are good, no doubt about it. But Matt Manning could get the call before Mize. So I'd keep my eye on Matt Manning as well as Mize. Um, I, I, I think Manning probably comes up before Mize. But I think they could both come up this year. Great questions. And I'm, I'm looking at the chat room. I'll, I'll keep going through today's games and daily fantasy editions, but I'll keep my eye on this chat room as well. The Twins, I think I went over that game. The Cardinals are at the Mariners tonight. Uh, not a lot to go over there. We'll tell you the starting pitchers are Waka and the Mariners to be determined. I'm not sure who that is, but it's an interesting last name to put on the back of a jersey, isn't it, TBD? We'll see about that one. The Red Sox are at Rogers Center. Velasquez taking on Strowman in that game. Uh, well, so I got one thing that says Porcello and one thing that says Velasquez. But I'm looking at MLB's site and they're saying Velasquez, so I'm rolling with that. Um, so I, what I have stat-wise is for Porcello, so I won't give you anything Toronto. I will talk about the Red Sox. Xander Bogarts is 11 for 36 in his career with two homers off of Strowman. I like him today. Christian Vasquez, the catcher, is 7 for 19 off of Stroman. That's a 368 average. Those are sneaky picks. I tell you, Mookie Betts has struggled off of Stroman. 8 for 37 with a 216 average. So uh, I think I go sneaky there, and I think I'm adding uh, Vasquez as my catcher today if he's in the starting lineup tonight against Marcus Stroman. The Phillies and Braves square off. It's Zach Eflin against Mike Soroka. Not a lot of stats for Phillies bats against Mike Soroka. Real Amuto, one for three, for example, so that's not really credible stuff. And same way with uh, the Braves against Zach Eflin. I will say, though, Josh Donaldson, I talked about earlier, his hard hit rate is down, but against Eflin in his career, he's four for five with three doubles and a home run. So just looking at that very, very, very small sample, you got an 800 hitter with a 2.833 ERA, uh, it just looks like in the small amount of at bats, Donaldson has seen the ball quite well off of Zach Eflin. Of course, you know, I'm always a big Freddie Freeman guy when the Braves are playing a right hander at home. And so I'm sure he'll be expensive today in DFS, but I love Freddie Freeman. The Angels are at the Rangers, finally. Uh, Matt Canning against Lance Lynn. That's an 805 start. That's the last game of the day, is what I'm showing here on my schedule. The Dodgers are at 9-10. I already talked about them. But other than the Dodger game, this is the second last game of the of the night. And in that game, again, Griffin Canning against Lance Lynn. Here you have some stats, okay, against Lance Lynn. Not enough sample for Griffin Canning. You know, he's a rookie this year. But Andrelton Simmons, if he plays, and that's the key there, if he plays, he's 5 for 11. Uh, Luke Croy, 9 for 32. And Mike Trout, 3 for 14. Uh, I don't discount Mike Trout. He hit those two home runs last night. And, uh, you know, come on. Is Lance Lynn really the pitcher we've been seeing the last few weeks? Or is he the Lance Lynn we've seen for the last few years? So, Lynn's had a great start to the year. I just don't know how he will continue and maintain in... um, in the day, in the weeks to come, I just don't know, and I know he pitches in a pitter, pitcher Henry, fin, friendly park. I'm stuttering here; I don't mean to be doing that. Pitcher friendly park in Arlington, so we'll keep our eye on that. But those are some ideas for today. I've got to get out of here. I've been with you for an hour and a hour and fifteen minutes. How about that? I've enjoyed every moment of it. Thank you guys for being in the chat room. Go out, enjoy your July the fourth. If it's a holiday, be careful. Okay. But watch you some baseball. Again, the first game today is 11.05, so less than an hour there's baseball. Hey, go watch a game. Enjoy it. Thank you for being part of Arnie's Fantasy World of Sports on LennyMelnickFantasySports.com. Have a great day, everybody.